So the first signs of Orobanch invasion is you water in your plants, but they get rapidly uh, like they are. They need water every 24 hours. You don't understand what's going on. Why? I'm watering them all the time, but uh, they still need water. So the reason is that the orobanch uh, parasitic uh, plant uh, invades the <coughs> the roots so it's underground it's happening underground it takes all the water all the nutrients from the from the beans you you can't see the the parasitic plant because it, it it's developing for one month or more underground so when it's it emerges uh, over ground it's very it's too late let me show you like here it is it is over ground it just emerged I'm sorry for the cat so it emerged so this is I tried to go and remove them from the roots but it doesn't work look I already removed this like two weeks ago I tried to, to remove all the oro bunch but there is always some others you don't see. Um, so, but the the damage is already done underground. You, so this is a big problem with our bunch. So I never. So this is mother cat trying to educate her sons. This one is rolling over every time he's, she sees me. So, um, I was saying that I never grow uh, beans here, but I have the invasion. So, I think the Orobanch seeds were on the, on, uh, on the seeds of the beans. Because, uh, so if you have an infestation somewhere and you let the Orobanch until the end, let it flower and make the seeds, when you're harvesting the, the the beans, you you it's very likely to take some orobanch seeds which are microscopic with you in the seeds. So when you you if you uh, grow the beans somewhere else, you will have even if the land is new, uh, you will have orobanch invasion. It's very severe this time. So. It's severe, so I am suspecting it to be on the seeds of the beans in the first time, in the in the first place. Uh, usually, when you have orobanch invasion with seeds who were on the in the native to the ground, uh, you don't have it everywhere. Uh, this time, it's it's really everywhere. There is no bean who has been um, um, forgotten by the Orobanch. So here, here is catnip. You see that some cats were rolling here. They like it. Um, yeah, so this is uh, an Orobanch which is, which is going to flower very soon. So now I will try to remove this bean so all the beans here i didn't eat it didn't produce anyone so it's 100 percent damage so it's uh, so this is so you can have a, an idea about the or a bunch damage on on the harvest it's zero i I didn't see anyone, any beans. Yeah, uh, so I, w I did see one here. It's a very tiny bean. This one, the only one. So let me remove the other bunch. Let you see. <coughs> yeah, this is this one. So you see, 
this is underground it's happening un underground see at this stage it's already big damage on the beam and you if you don't want to have a bench again on your land you need to to be careful for several years you will plant again you plant uh, beans again and but you make sure that the the beans don't have any um, seeds of orobanch for three years and you remove before before uh, the orobanch starts flowering you remove everything so that all the seeds will, would be would be germinated by three years and then you can see see or a bunch or a bunch if you remove the beans they ca they cannot survive on their own the or a bunch are 100 uh, percent relying on the host plant for survival so if you, you remove the beans they will die they will not flower here it is again I am 100% sure that it was on the grains, on the seeds of the beans. Here it is again. You see it? This one? Hello. So I remove everything. See? Or a bunch. So I'm, I'm saying it in French. Or a bunch. I'm not sure how it's called in. Or spelled in English yeah see en revanche this is it so it's you see it's parasiting these the roots it's happening underground See, this is mustard. We are in, we are the 31st December 2020. This is Mediterranean climate. Okay, let's remove. Oop, big orbush here. Hi. Let me do this again. Oh, oh, la. oh la la. Wow. Other or a bunch. Sometimes they are so deep. You just wonder if they are how do how do they find the roots of the bean to to parasite. Yeah. Or a bunch everywhere. I'm sure it was on the seeds. I'm sure because because it's very close to the oh one bean hi my bean I'm gonna eat it oh this one was was had no or a bunch so this is a normal non parasited uh, bean yep so you can see this is the beans so they are uh, uh, from the Fabaci family they produce mm, nitrogen on their own by um, they get help from this bacteria this is not a, para a parasitic thing this is bacteria they are helping the plant make n nitrogen this uh, white things on the root this is rhizobium something that helps the Fabaceae family plants make their own nitrogen so they can grow without oh, another small bean they can grow on their own without any fertilization after 40 days if you fertilize 
during the first um, six weeks it's it's good because the bacteria will 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 be there after six weeks. So this is all bunch again. You can see how it is parasiting. See it's on the roots. It gets it gets stick to the roots and takes everything from the plant. Everything. You get nothing. You get zero beans. See? 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 Yeah. Let me show you where it is. Stick to the plant. Little little cat go go away. I'm showing. See? It's stick. To the it sticks to the see. So you have to remove everything. You make sure no orobanch is flowering and making seeds because one orobanch can make hundreds of thousands of seeds. Can it's it's a nightmare. Oh, it's flowering here. <laughs> this one is it's flowering very very fast. If you forget it for like two three days, you will have so much so much seed by the way it has a nice smell this is the only good thing about it i like i like his, its smell the smell of, of its um, of its flowers is good This is a flowering or a bunch. So the seeds may be already spread. So you just draw it away like this. Okay. Let's continue. Killing the overall bench. <laughs>